Hey guys, what's going on? Today, in this video, I'm not gonna do a fragrance review. What I'm gonna do is something new. I thought it might be, you know, like interesting to some people because uh, to us, as you can see from the topic, I chosen, I have chosen 10 of my most favorite sprayers in the fragrance game in my collection. So things to remember is this is not a fragrance review. Second of all, it's subjective, how you like your sprayers or is it even important at all? Third of all, it's like uh, my uh, personal choice. You can definitely um, disagree, right? Or you can have, uh, you can suggest your best prayers from your collection, right? So I'm just giving you some idea. Maybe I'll see more videos on this, right? So without any further ado, but uh, one other thing that is, uh, it's not necessarily like, it's an important thing. Like some people, uh, it doesn't really matter how a fragrance sprays and stuff, right? It All it matters is the juice. But to me, presentation of a bottle is very important. How they do creative designing, juice color. Um, the, you know, like when you look at it, the visuals are very important to me. It's uh, to me, you know, like I feel, you know, sometimes it's, it's just nice when the fragrance smells nice and goes nicely with the presentation. It's a nice whole package. And sprayers are important in such a way. Let's say I do a bit of decanting. So when you actually spray, you, you face a lot of different kind of uh, sprayers. Uh, so yes, uh, let me start with uh, honorable mention. Honorable mention number one, Thierry Mugler line. Yeah, that's a joke. <laughs> Sorry, just wanted to start off with uh, not a bang, with a crack. Anyway, this is one of the most horrible sprayer. The, this line, I don't know what's wrong with this rubber sprayers. One of the most horrible sprayers in the game, even though their juice really rocks, their bottles really rock, but the sprayers really suck. So this kind of uh, bottle is have it does have that sprayer problem. And many other fragrances in the game, maybe I'll do a top, like the worst, top 10 worst uh, spraying fragrance. Anyway, let me go with my favorites. So honorable mention, number one, is this one. Rasa says, this is a Sotur line, okay? This fragrances, uh, they're like four in the line. Uh, and this juice color I picked up because it's much nicer to look at. Uh, it's blue, but these ones have massive. Uh, let me show you the sprayer just to make you understand how good these sprayers are, all right? One, two, Ah, the light is blocking. Okay, one, two. As you see, it's going like storm. So this kind of sprayer, the Rasasi Sotu line, is one of the best sprayers in the game. Uh, like honorable mention number two is this uh, fragrance from Jack Boger. This line, I mean, any of these fragrances, no matter which one you pick, so far they all spray like a huge deal of fragrance but the problem is sometimes they're not consistent you know they give sometimes too much they give like like a squirt sometimes sometimes they get big on spray so it's all over the place but like shoots a lot of juice this line Jacques Bogart this I would talk, talk about Silver Sand or Bogart Purim all of them have excellent sprayers just the distribution is not that great which is why it's a uh, honorable mention okay now I think um, let me rearrange re a little bit okay um, 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 wait, yes, rearranging a little bit, sorry. Yes, okay, I'm set. Number 10, my favorite sprayer. This is not, I'm not gonna talk about the whole line. This particular fragrance is very nice sprayer. It sprays very elegant, effortless, nice little scent cloud that sends you. Jean-Paul Gaultier Lamal Essence. Try out there. This fragrance smells really, really nice. Got cardamom and that usual, um, the touch of Lamal, but it's much more modernized. Look at the sprayer. You see that? It sprays really, really nice. I like how smoothly it sprays. It doesn't get stuck anywhere. It doesn't, you know, like stutter. And it does give out a lot of juice. And you can press out long way. You can press a little bit. You can press a, uh, like all the way hard, you know, like down. So it gives you less, you know, or sometimes gives you more. So Lamal Essence, my number 10. Very nice bottle as well. Beautiful bottle. And remember one thing. This lineup doesn't have anything to do with the smell. It has everything to do with the sprayer, okay? Number nine, my favorite, this line, okay? This is Prada Amber Intense. Also, I got Prada Amber, but I'm showing you this is the bigger bottle, that's what I'm showing you. This one sprays like a laser, okay? It shoots like a laser. Check this out, okay? It shoots out a lot of juice and sprays straight to the point. So this, these sprayers are very unique. It's at the side and really, it's really, really pretty. Okay, I really like this sprayer and the bottle as well. So number nine is Prada Amber and Prada Amber Intense. Both sprayers are awesome. Very high class juice as well. And uh, number eight, this is gonna surprise some of you, but you see my next ones, you'll see why this didn't, I will tell you why it didn't make top five. Number eight is Dior Sauvage. 
Savar, Savar, EDP, either way you go, these prayers are the same, okay? Let me move a little bit, sorry, yeah, better. So what I'm trying to say is this prayer, it's nice. You guys already know this prayer of Savaj. Look at this. It shoots out nicely, very nice, moist, uh, like, you know, like a nice sort of uh, mist going on, not moist, mist going on. And uh, the fragrance itself is uh, like a top seller. But the one problem, why is it so behind in the list is this one doesn't give you so much juice. You know, when you spray it, it looks like apparently a lot of juice coming out, but at the same time, no. It gives you very soft sort of a touch. It's nice, but then you, you have to apply a lot and you have to press when you decant, you have to press a lot of times to fill up your bottle, whatever. So yes, uh, it's a nice little mist, nice smooth sprayer, but uh, not my most favorite, but it's it still nonetheless sprays nicely, okay? Number eight is Dior Sauvage. Number seven, my favorite, <laughs> Creed Line. These ones, the old ones, I don't know about the new ones, but all the Creed fragrances, they have huge sprayer. They are like humongous. Let me show uh, the sprayer. As you can see, you can press a little bit, you can press a lot. I'm wasting some juice just to show you the sprayer. And uh, their bottles are not very consistent. Sometimes the caps are loose, sometimes they're tight, but the sprayers are always, always good. All right, so Creed is my number seven. Any Creed that you get, original vetiver, Aventus, you know. Okay. So number five, then after that, I'm gonna show you my top five. Number five is also very, very, very beautiful spread. This one easily can be number one, but those top five, I'll tell you why I like them. Chanel Allure line. Any Allure you get, Allure, Allure Rome, Allure Sport, Rome Extreme, Sport, Edition Blanche, the Cologne, Sport, Cologne, whatever. These sprayers are awesome. I'm not gonna spray this one. This one is a bit overpowering. These ones have effortless prayer. You can spray very, very easily. You don't have to, like your fingers don't hurt if you're decanting and whatnot. But these are one of the top class prayers. If those top five are not there, this was gonna make number one or number two easily, all right? So Chanel gives you quality through and through. Try any of the Chanel, uh, the Platinum Egoist, Egoist line, Antheas are not so much, but this Elio line, A class, sir. All right, number six is Chanel Elio line. Number five, here you go, the top five. The number five, I'll start with this one. ADG line, okay? Aqua Digio, Aqua Digio, Profumo, Essenza, you go, even the Absolute, any from this line, they give out a lot of juice. And uh, I think the original EDT is a little bit weak compared to the Profumo and Essenza and Absolute line. The old sprayers are a little bit weak. The newer ones, they give like huge bursts. You, you literally feel like something hit you, rock, rock hit you, boom, you know, like water hits you. Right, so it gives you huge mist. I really love that because it, it does. You just need three sprays of this fragrance. It is good enough to last you half a day. All right, so Aqua Digio, uh, Profumo line. Let's say Profumo Essenza and Absolute. These three have huge monstrous sprayers. Number five, ADG, Profumo line. Number four is my favorite. It uh, <laughs> this uh, fragrance is like next, like next four. All of them are the sweetheart of sprayers. Okay, number four is Dior's Fahrenheit. I love, love, love spraying this. You do not, even it doesn't get stuck. It doesn't even want to like stop anywhere. It just goes, it just goes, it goes really nicely. If you haven't seen Fahrenheit sprayers, here you go. I'm going to spray all over my bottles, but here you go. Little bit spray, right? Look at that, big spray. So it's Dior and Chanel, you know, they're like competing for the best everything. But to me, Dior Fahrenheit line, it's just amazing. Juice, you guys know already, but this sprayer, it's a sweetheart. Number four, Dior Fahrenheit. Any Fahrenheit line for that matter. Number three, Guerlain Loam Ideal line. This fragrance, I picked up this one because I like the bottle the most. It's so clean and white, it's beautiful, classy, okay? And the cap, everything, it just works. A very beautiful bottle. But this prayers, what they do is, look at this, okay? Sorry about the light. As you see, big thick mist and very very easy they give you a lot of juice okay i don't know uh, like gearline one of the best brands i don't know designer or niche whatever you consider them to be but my favorite spread number three is low medial line ideal edt cologne sport uh, edp and the new one also i think they all have the same exact spread so this is one of the best prayers in the game according to me number two and number one <laughs> very difficult for me to choose but i am going with Dior Homme line. Dior Homme line, Intense, uh, Dior Homme Parfum, this, Dior Homme, a lot of Dior Homme's, right? And Dior Homme, um, O, a lot of Dior Homme's there. Basically, these sprayers, so nice. I'm gonna make this like scent of the afternoon. 
check this out okay let me show you you can spray a little bit see those mists coming out right i put a lot actually all right let's see the big sprayers see that yes very effortless and very easy spray very high class sprayer okay and you're gonna feel like it's just so easy easy wear easy to spray so Durham cologne my number two and number uno number one top is it's gonna surprise a little bit some of you because you may not be seeing this one coming all right Narciso Rodriguez for him EDT EDP even Blue Noir I think there's a must collection any of the Narciso they are humongous their sprayers are so much fun to just press it's even better than Chanel Dior Creed combine everything this is what I love spraying okay just this pleasure of just sheer pleasure of spraying this check this out you see that it never becomes stingy in giving you the juice right so number number one is Narciso Rodriguez for him EDT EDP any of this Narciso Rodriguez line you're gonna get the best prayers in the game so those are my top 10 best prayers in the game do, do let me know which ones are your favorite and if you like the concept of the video sorry about the light situation is daytime so light is being a little bit messy <laughs> here take care guys I'll talk to you soon I'll come back with uh, later tonight Mancera Sicily and this is gonna be a big big review wait out wait and check out my review uh, later tonight I'll talk to you soon have a nice day bye bye